Oh my days. Yes. Uh oh. <laughs> Guys, this is possibly the best small scale skate park basher you can buy. It's 1 16th scale, it's from HBX, it's brushless, it's got oil shocks. It's awesome. I rate this number one if you want to go out and bash this thing at the skate park or anywhere really. And unless you run over it in your car or something, it should come back in one piece. So not only is it adult proof, it should be child proof as well. But in this video, we're looking at this Hyper Go, which looks really good. I've already reviewed one of them. They perform really well. I want to know what it's like at the skate park and I want to know how durable it is. But as well as taking this to the skate park, we're also going to charge a battery and take this. And I've also converted the other Hyper Go come on to brushless and this thing does 36 miles an hour so we're taking that to the skate park as well i'm not going to do a massively in-depth unboxing of this if you want to see what these are like do go and check out the original video of this but we are going to give this a run today we're going to take it to the skate park wheelie bar battery tools screwdriver charger a wing transmitter and the truck and you could say it looks just like the Traxxas Sledge, but it's probably safer to say it's like the Armour Creighton. Because I don't want Traxxas getting upset again because I dare to mention their name. So we'll say it looks like an Armour Creighton, not a Traxxas Sledge. That'd be our little secret. Anyway, packed with features. It's got a 390 brushed motor, heatsink fan. Got an ESC, or you could call it a control unit there because not only is that the ESC and the receiver, it also powers the GPS and it also has the Bluetooth within there that connects to your phone. So it's got onboard GPS, which will give you your speed. And then it's got this 35 amp ESC, which also powers the light for the front and it powers the fan. It's the brains of the RC car. This is the battery that comes with it. You could kind of call it a smart battery. You press there, it tells you the state of charge. This one looks like it's pretty much fully charged. That slots in neatly there. And then you've got a Dean's connector and you can fit aftermarket batteries. Got a nice little locking device there. The chassis also looks very familiar. We won't mention any names again. Metal gears, metal drive shafts, the all important oil shocks, and overall a decent little truck. We'll also mention the tires, which might look like something else. <laughs> I was really impressed with that straight out of the box. Again, if you go and watch, go and watch a review of that, um, this one's more going to be a durability at the skate park. Right, I've lined them all up. I want to see if the stock Hypergo can do a backflip. These two are backflip kings. I want to know if that can. HBX first. Come on. Easy. Brush this Hypergo. This thing's a bit mental. <laughs> that could probably do a double. Come on, double. <laughs> that is crazy. Anyway, can this thing do a backflip? Let's give it a bit of motivation. Come on, hit the ramp. Full crawl, just let it go. Relax and you'll be fine. Yes! Go on, have another go. Yes! So here we go. Three little mini bashers. I'm just going to remind you what this thing can do and then we'll get on to uh, giving this one a run. And then finally, I'll show you the crazy brush, this one. <laughs> good start. So this thing's good for about 25 mile an hour. Jumps nice as well. <laughs> really high. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I probably missed that as well on camera. There you go, nice backflip. Oh, and that high the first time, I missed it on camera. <laughs> it's mad, mad little thing. Backflip. It's a tough little thing as well, really tough. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty hard to break as well. All right, let's give this thing a go now then. So like I said, it has got an app on it. I'm going to leave the screen recording and um, just so give you a little, give you a little insight into the app, but do check out the original review of that if you want to see more, but I'm going to run a full pack through this. I got a fully charged battery, run a full pack through it. I think these are good for 22 mile an hour. Something like that. So not much slower actually than the HBX 
that's brushless and this is brushed but the HBX has got a little bit more oomph than this, a little bit more punch. <laughs> but this still jumps well, jeez. Yes, <laughs> that's a good one. Nice backflip. Oh man, I love little skate park bashers. This is my favourite skate park, this one. Whoa! <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Uh-oh! Whoa! Something came off. So, I don't purposely try and break stuff. I just want to know how durable these are. Because that rampage there is crazy tough i've not broken one of them yet i've never managed to break this yet or the like the brushed versions or there's some other um versions of this as well same chassis i've never broke one and if these little hyper goes are as tough these could be a decent deal price points good on them as well and if they bring out a brush this one of these it's going to be awesome ah oh, i was about to say easy to control in the air oh I reckon that was a fan blade we lost. <laughs> I'd say my fan's a bit loose. Uh-oh, oh well, that's what we broke on that jump. That's all right. It's a bit noisy, but it's still doing its job. I'm really impressed with these hyper goes. Really impressed. You wait till you see my brush this one. <laughs> you watch, I'll get it down here and it'll roll onto its back again. Oh no, we got it. Oh, transition. Come on. No, oh, come on. Ah. Oh, another transition. Come on. Should we take that fan off? <laughs> Let's disconnect it. It's not having a good time under there. <laughs> Right, fan disconnected. So far, so good. Yes, so smooth. Front flip. Oh, that was hard, that's broke something. I know, it just looks like a shock's popped off. Good to go. <laughs> that was a hard hit. <laughs> Nearly got a front flip though. Oh, let's try a better landing for a front flip. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are we calling that? <sighs> oh, still not clean landing. Well, there you go, guys. It front flips. It back flips. <laughs> We've not run out on the battery pack yet, but this definitely passes my durability test, for sure. It's mad. So much runtime on this battery. <laughs> oh, look at that one. Oh, look at that one. It's a little stunt truck. Oh, that's it now. That is it. LVC. Well, if that doesn't show you that this thing is tough, I don't know what will. GPS has come loose. 
fan has disappeared now. Oh, we've lost the whole fan completely. I better go find that. Um, truck popped off a couple of times. But other than that, guys, it survived. I'm not sure this one's going to survive with the extra power this thing's got, but let's fire it up and give it a go. My biggest fan. <laughs> My prediction on this one is that the, uh, the motor or the gears are going to give up before the truck. It's insane. How insane, you say? Well, I will show you. <laughs> Way too much power. Way too much. <laughs> it's like a little pit bull. Oh, my days. That's the steering broke. <laughs> Everything just came unstuck and jammed the steering. It's all good now, but it's all hanging loose in there, so this could be interesting. Half the power would be ideal. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Slow in, fast out. Oh, that was two. Oh, <laughs> still going still going well apart from the electronics coming unstuck we're good let's send it big let's send it big uh oh that wasn't big uh oh saying that a lot in this video aren't i uh oh <laughs> ah there we go there we go that's the motor motor's moved or something's moved yeah motor's moving spur isn't anyway a round of applause for this thing nothing at all broken that was already off it's crazy what can i say three awesome bashers no massive breakages obviously we lost obviously the gps come detached and the fan broke on that uh, all the innards on that sort of fell out but i only just stuck them in that thing, I did run it after the, I did run the battery down on that after the video as well. No breakages, everything is all good. Links to them in the description. I'll also leave some links for the parts I use to make that brushless. Cheers for watching, I'll see you next time. <laughs>